the way I'm recording this actually is kind of ghetto, like, <laughs> oh, it's going get, but I have a, I don't have a good recording software, like, I have a, what is it, I'm using a call graph for Skype, but uh, what I have to do is I'm just recording the gameplay and the audio separately. Like, I'm not sure how to record uh, audio over gameplay with HDPVR. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back and I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to uh, fit the audio with the video as closely as possible. So those floating yellow diamonds, I'm pretty sure is for, uh, to get the other crystals. I never, uh, went 100% through this game. You know, uh, I have one account. I'm actually pretty close to it, but... So if you want to know, I'm playing this on the PS3, and the PS3 is backwards compatible to play PS1 games, so... Oh yeah, that's another thing. Right now, uh, if you want me to do a walkthrough, uh, I'm not doing Xbox walkthroughs. Uh, just because I have my HD PVR hooked up to my PlayStation, and I'm just really lazy. It's a lot of work to unplug it from one console and plug it into the other, so... As of right now, I'm only doing PS3 and PS1 games. Uh, later, I'm going to be doing PS2 games, but I have to buy a uh, backwards compatible PS3, like the original glossy 60 gig model. And uh, once I get one of those, I can do PS2 games too. Yeah, actually, an HD PVR has a. Uh, it's a composite or component. The. Uh, Yellow, white, and red ones. I'm not sure what the name for that is. Component or composite, whatever. But uh, yeah, I could record a. I could try recording PS2 from that. But a lot of people said that theirs didn't work. So, like, right now I'm just gonna stick to PS1 and PS3. Another reason why I wanted to make this channel was there's a uh, I know there's a, there's a million gameplays for Crash Bandicoot, but you know a lot of people complain because sometimes they want to see gameplay and there might not be that many gameplay videos of a certain game, like or a good quality video. So uh, you know I'm doing this so that other people can see games that you know aren't necessarily. You know, have a lot of like, videos in YouTube. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna go as fast as I can, see how far I can go without dying. Oh, my 
Not very far. <laughs> Yeah, you get so many lives in this game, uh, you pretty much don't have to worry about it unless you, like, really suck. I mean, some of the later on levels, they could be pretty hard. Well, I kind of suck. <laughs> well, some of the later on levels, they could get pretty hard, but, uh, you shouldn't really have to worry about lives. And you can always go back to some of the easier levels and collect the, uh, the life boxes. A little bit of Crash Bandicoot grinding. It's unheard of. I forget, there's this one level in Crash Bandicoot 2. Uh, I forget what it is. You could get, like, an infinite amount of lives, like 99. And, uh, you just sit there and you keep repeating. I think it's like the uh, the level where you could burrow underneath the road and like spin a few to attack the bees. I don't know. <sighs> Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm rusty. So E3 was yesterday. Crap. So E3 was yesterday, and uh, I didn't watch Microsoft's live, but I saw Sony's live. And uh, Microsoft, well, I went back and I watched Microsoft, you know, to see like what they did and how they showed everything off. And uh, they had a lot of good games and stuff, but. I don't think that's enough to persuade me to get an Xbox at this point. Like, just from everything I've been hearing about it, I just, I don't like the concept of it at all, really. Like, Microsoft is trying to move gaming in a direction that I don't want it to go in. You know, downloads, they're cool and stuff, you know. Especially when you get a cheaper price. I like the five dollars. Let's go. But uh, I would hate to have all downloads because I collect games, so I like to have physical copies and you know boxes, and something to go along with it, not just not just download a game. I actually go out of my way to get complete games like in the box. So I would not want to download it. And I know Xbox, it's not download only. They have actual discs for their games. But the fact that you have to check in every 24 hours. And I wasn't worried about this at first, but everybody's been talking about it. What's going to happen 10, 15 years from now when Microsoft shuts down the Xbox One server? Are we going to lose, like, all those games that we pay for? Yeah, he always gets me, the last guy. Oh, let's try this again. But, uh, yeah, so... I'm definitely picking up a PS4, probably day one. But, uh, Xbox, I'm not sure about, you know. I'm definitely not getting it day one. If I do get it, I'm gonna get it after price drops, and after I hear like a little bit more about it, to see how it actually works, because Microsoft, they didn't really clear anything up at E3. Like, everything that was announced at E3 was released ahead of time, so we already knew all this stuff, and they didn't really reassure us that the Xbox, you know, wasn't gonna just kinda be cheap, you know? But, uh, I don't know, and also, I don't know why Microsoft is going in the entertainment and TV direction. <laughs> That's not what I want, you know. I have a, a, uh, like, everybody has TiVos. We don't need another one. What have I got? I'm 
you know, some people may feel different about it, and, uh, that's perfectly fine, you know. I'm not kind of, I'm not hating on the Xbox, I'm just saying, I don't really like what they're doing. About. And no, I'm not a PlayStation fanboy. I have, I actually had an Xbox before I had a PlayStation. I own both consoles, so that's, uh, I'm not biased. Yeah, to be honest, actually, I actually prefer the Xbox 360 over the PS3. Not preferred, because uh, it was all about the games, really. But I, th I put more time into the Xbox, just because I had more games for it, really. For PlayStation, I only bought exclusives, because for Xbox, you're paying for a gold subscription. So I wanted to really, you know, put more time into that since I was paying. But, now that, uh, PSN, we're gonna have to pay for PSN, you know, not much, I'm not really worried about, worried about that. Now that we're gonna have to pay for PSN, though, uh, I'm probably gonna spend a lot more time on the PlayStation 4. If I get an Xbox One, that is. What you guys think about that? You know, E3, get Xbox One, get a PlayStation 4. Do you care what Microsoft is doing, or do you just not really mind it at all? Yeah, I thought the uh, the conference was really funny though. You know, Sony was just bashing Microsoft so badly. Everything that Everybody hated about the Xbox One. Sony came out and just said the complete opposite of it. You know, we can play used games. We don't need to check in every 24 hours. All of this stuff. Yeah, I was, I was, <laughs> I was laughing pretty hard when I started hearing that.